My guess is that you want to be a better citizen of this planet. You care about the environment. You've probably watched documentaries like Blue Planet or even the news. It's incredibly hard to escape the state that our beautiful planet is in right now. I'm not going to show you any horrendous videos or clips because my guess is you're already fully aware and I don't want to induce any further eco-anxiety if you struggle with that like I do. But this week I wanted to go through the plastic free swaps that I am sticking with. It's been 18 months of trial and error but I thought it might help anyone else because I know that when you do set out on a journey to make changes, to be more sustainable, to reduce the amount of waste that you're creating, it can be really overwhelming. And I didn't know where to start. I wasted a lot of money along the way. This stuff can often be quite expensive as well. So I thought I would be open and honest about the stuff that I'm sticking with, the stuff that I found good, that's worked for me, and start the conversation. I'm really tempted to just <laughs> do that thing where I just clear the desk, um, but I won't because I'll break everything. But put it all to one side and then I'll bring them all back one by one. Metal safety razor. I heard really mixed reviews about these and a lot of people find them too sharp So they take their skin off with them. I have never found that at all. I absolutely Love this thing highly highly recommend making this switch um, I will leave a link to everything that I'm going to talk about just the stuff that I personally own um, in the description for you. Next item, while we're sticking in the bathroom, has been a wooden toothbrush. I absolutely love this switch. Jason has not been able to get on with wooden toothbrushes at all, but I cannot see myself going back. Um, apparently, the first toothbrush was invented, I want to say 1926. I want to say that. I don't know if that's 100% correct, but I want to say that. Anyway, basically, that first toothbrush that was invented is still in existence today. So, and every toothbrush that has followed it is still in existence today. Toothbrushes are a huge, huge problem. So this is a really, really great switch. I use the one from Organic Basics, who is a brilliant brand who I've worked with before, and I've found theirs very, very, very good. These are really cute little things. These are organic cotton pads, which are so soft and fluffy. Let's show you that one. You see that? There it is. Um, yeah, absolutely love these for taking off eye makeup and just general skincare, so if I'm putting some glycolic acid on, I will pop it on there and then just wipe it on my face. You can wash them in the washing machine, but you have to put them on a very gentle wash, and I do advise washing them in this little bag that they do come in. This is a great switch from Face Wipes, which 
you really shouldn't be using anyway and the disposable one-time use cotton pads it's really good to be able to to wash these I left my cotton flannel upstairs didn't I and I really wanted to show you this <laughs> I have been using cotton flannels for my face for years if you aren't aware of Caroline Hirons and her double cleanse method then where have you been? Um, face wipes are a no, no. They do not come anywhere near my face. They are not good for you. I love to use these. Cleanser on. In fact, I will, I will probably do a, the very simple skincare routine that I've got. I'll do a separate video on that, but cleanser on, hot tap, run this under a hot tap, squeeze it out, soak it on your face and <laughs> I defy anyone who can't make that oh feeling because oh, so so nice these are the most luxurious face wipes you are ever going to get um these ones are from the yeah John Lewis but I mean it really doesn't matter they don't have to be expensive they just have to be 100% cotton oh I really wanted a beautiful fresh bar of soap for this video but I <laughs> didn't have time to order one and I'm still using mine but switching to soaps, oh you see that, yep, switching to soap has been brilliant for cutting down on shower gels and hand washes as well. Again, this is a switch that Jason has not been able to make. He has this thing about germs on soap, which I don't think is, is real, but anyway, he, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like other people using his soap. So he likes his own shower gel. He just finds that more hygienic, so that's totally fine. Um, I am completely okay with the soap in my bathroom and I use this to wash my body as well. Uh, this one I got from a vintage shop down the road from where we live, but I will leave a link to a really beautiful company that make Beautiful, beautiful soap, so yes. Excellent switch to make. Um, these are shampoo and conditioner bars. This has been trial and error for me. I have written a blog post all about making the switch to solid shampoo and conditioners because it is not a one size fits all formula, but these are the ones that I have found work very well for me. I bought them way before Christmas. There's still loads and loads left. Saved a fortune actually. This has probably been one of the few switches that has actually saved me money. Um, these are both from Lush and I will link to those. I was really worried about making the switch to solid shampoo and conditioner. I My first experience wasn't good so then I sort of just threw in the towel and said no no I can't, can't do it anymore that's it I'm done. But I did persevere and I'm really happy that I did. I am not a, I'm not overly fussy about my hair as you can probably see. I don't dye it or anything like that. I don't like it particularly over polished, over styled. I'm, I'm like more of a natural look. And these work really well for that. They make my hair super soft. I do think they give it a nice shine and they make it manageable, which is always good, especially for curly hair girls because it's not easy for us. So yeah, two switches that I am definitely sticking with. This is a funny one. This is Who Gives a Crap Toilet Paper. And it's a website where you can bulk order plastic free toilet paper. Toilet paper in the supermarkets and shops is almost, it's, well, I've never found it actually. I've never found plastic free toilet paper, which blows my mind and annoys me so much. This company is absolutely brilliant. They're doing really great things, planting trees all over the place with their profits. And I love the packaging that it comes in. You can get a black and white, more minimal version as well, if that's more your jam. Um, they are expensive because you have to order so many and then you have to find 
somewhere to store them. I stack them all up behind my bath and then in a few drawers as well. But I know some people, I think I heard Madeline Olivia say that she does a group order and then shares them out. I think she's got a Facebook group in her village or something like that. So that's a really good idea if you want to try and cut down on the cost, but 100% sticking with this company. Love them. Almost done in the bathroom. All right, I'm going to be talking about periods, which I know can be a little bit too much information for some people. So if that's you, that's totally fine. Feel free to skip ahead a little bit. But for the rest of us, we need to talk about this stuff. The weight, the plastic waste from sanitary towels and tampons is crazy. And apparently the average woman will spend £20,000 on period wear throughout her entire life, which is insane to me. So I have been plastic free in terms of my period for well over a year now, and I have no intentions of going back. I'm really happy with it. I actually much prefer it. So I'm gonna show you the products that I have been loving as part of that switch. Organico is a company that I worked with last year. And this is basically a cup that you use throughout your period. Um, and it takes, it takes a little bit getting used to. I would recommend watching all the videos to make sure that you are doing it right, but I absolutely love it. It's absolutely fantastic. Maybe not in the f on the first day because I feel really, really sensitive on that first day, but definitely after. You can swim in it. It's supposed to last for up to 12 hours, which works really well if you're, you know, you're going out to work and coming back. Um, having two is handy if you're having to use public toilets as well. They also do different sizes for women who have and have not had children, which I think is great. Second for the plastic free period is washable. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this stuff on YouTube. <laughs> My previous self is having a heart attack right now. Washable sanitary towels. I love these things, they feel so much nicer than the ones with plastic in. They wash really, really well. The black one obviously is a little bit more practical, but I do really, really love these soft white ones as well, which are made from, yeah, organic cotton. These are what I use as well as the organic cup. And I also have, and sort of playing around with the leak free period underwear as well, which is, is working really well. The best pair that I have found so far have been the Thinks, so I will link to those as well. But yeah, completely plastic free period, which is a huge switch, a really, really good one to make, and one that, again, is actually saving me money, which is brilliant. Um, highly recommend giving that a go. Moving on to work, fountain pen, which, is, I mean, I am, <laughs> to be honest here, I am, I am a pen snob. Um, I absolutely love using a fountain pen. It takes me back to school days and I even, <laughs> you're really geeky saying this, but I do even have my own bottle of ink. Um, if you buy a fountain pen, this one's Parker, I'll link to it. I'm not 100% if they still sell it actually, but I will, Think something similar if not. When you buy a fountain pen, if you want refillable cartridges, you need something called a converter, which is, is this sort of thing, and it's got a twisty top. So you, you empty it out, and then you pop it in and twist, and then it puts all the ink in the pen fresh. This has really cut down on the amount of plastic pens that I was using, but it is one of those switches that is unfortunately it requires some investment in the beginning, which honestly I find the saddest part of sustainability. Sustainability at the minute is equaling privilege and it's it's just so unfair. I fully understand that not 
all of these switches are affordable for people, which is just a real shame. We've still got so much more work to do. Drinks wise, these are probably two of the first switches that I made and I imagine these are the two most common switches. These, they have worked out for me, but they also haven't. I, this is a metal water bottle, a Chili's one, and it's great in that it keeps water cold for 24 hours and it keeps hot drinks hot for 12 hours, but I find it big and I find it quite heavy. I think I would actually be a little bit more suited to a smaller metal water bottle. So I think I will change that because it's so big and when it's full, it's really heavy and it's just a pain to have in my backpack. I find that I'm actually less likely to take it out with me. I think the size and the weight is definitely something to consider if you are thinking of making the switch to a metal water bottle and then reusable cup for, I mean you can have cold drinks in this, this one's great for around the house, this one's great for around the house, I think for travel I need something a little bit more practical, a little bit lighter, that's all. Last one is cotton grocery bags, um, I know a lot of people use the bags for life which are great but they are still made of plastic, I have made the switch to purely cotton bags, when the plastic ones have broken by the way. I should talk about that. <laughs> this stuff all look, the thing about sustainability is it at the minute it's having this huge boom. There are so many beautiful companies making beautiful products. It looks gorgeous. It's very, very alluring. But the worst thing that you can actually do is just throw out all your plastic, go out and buy all of this stuff. So please don't do that. Please Think about making the switches very gradually as and when the plastic that you already have runs out. It's worth considering. We have made the switch to these cotton grocery bags. I don't keep my grocery bags in any kind of order. Let's just, let's just get it, there you go, all out there. <laughs> it's a mess. So these ones I love because they are for fruit and veg. So when you're buying loose, it can all get a little bit jumbled in the trolley or the basket. These are great for separating everything and they come in a whole bunch of different sizes. It's just, I absolutely love them. Every single time I go to the farm shop or the supermarket, someone will always say to me, oh, they're a good idea, aren't they? I say, yeah, they're brilliant. You should get some. <laughs> absolutely love these for the smaller fruit and veg items. And then for the bigger ones, I just try and repurpose bags that either I'm sent or come with, like this came with a um, piece of clothing that I bought last year, beautiful cotton tote. So I try and repurpose them. This one was from a hotel that we stayed in, in Paris last year. Yeah, trying to repurpose things as much as possible is good good stuff and these these cotton ones I really really love they're really really strong and actually not one has has failed me yet hope that you've enjoyed that video let me know what switches you've been making so that we can all learn together I think the biggest lesson that I have learned from my trials and errors is that we're always learning always always and I'm not done with my zero waste journey. I don't expect to ever get to completely zero waste. I don't, I just don't think the world is, is built for that. But I do think that there are a lot of tiny changes that we can all make to make improvements. And that is where, that's where I'm going. So hopefully you'll come along with me if you're not already on your way. But yeah, share, share your plastic swaps that you've been making in the comments so that we can all learn and check them all out and I will keep sharing any switches that I make. I often share these on my Instagram so if you're not following me over there come over and say hi I'm at Jessica Rose Williams and I've got a highlight for the plastic swaps that I make and I share a lot over there as well and I will link to the blog posts that I've written about this stuff so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.
that felt really awkward how I just got into that chair. Come on. Just back. Mm. Number one switch is this. See that? Who is calling at this time? Really? Who is calling now? So I've got a Chili's metal water bottle. Oh, it's so annoying with the light. Stop it. <laughs> Nightmare. Oh man, come on. Are you gonna stay like that now? Yeah? 